Soil salinity is a challenge that more and more farmers are dealing with. The situation started to worsen since the Nile flood stopped and instead was replaced by regular mechanical irrigation. Year-round irrigation pulls salts from deeper soil sediments up to the root zone of the plants. When salt is in close proximity to plant roots, it literally pulls fresh water from them, which weakens or kills them. It is a sad reality when farmers lose their harvest because of salinity. It is an urgent problem that requires a change in practices. The first and most obvious is to reduce the amount of water used in irrigation, which could be easily achieved by making raised beds. The raised beds are wide and therefore reduce your water needs by one-third. This saves you time and diesel money for pumping. By making raised beds, you protect your plant roots from the accumulation of salt. Because raised beds are at least 20 centimeters high, the salts end up in the furrows and not near your plant roots. Salinity can be dealt with by growing salt-tolerant crops, such as lucerne. Lucerne covers your soil and therefore reduces evaporation. This helps reduce salts appearing at the surface. On bare grounds, or loosely distributed crops, salt can be seen on the surface more easily. When soil is extremely salty, it will limit what you can grow to salt-tolerant crops, such as beets, broccoli, white and red cabbage. For fruit trees, you can plant certain types like date palms, guava, figs and olives. Researchers have been producing lactobacillus, a bacteria that makes salt insoluble so it will be unavailable to the plant roots. It is produced in a laboratory and added to irrigation water and sprayed on the plants close to the roots. Now that we understand the problem, the solutions are in arm's reach and accessible to us all. If soil salinization is not dealt with well, it can take us decades to overcome. Let's move fast in the application of new practices that transform salty soil into flourishing farmlands.